How's it going, young guitar readers? This is Andy Timmons from Dallas, Texas, and uh, very happy to be here today to explain to you uh, my Mesa Boogie rig. I'm going to play some music for you, and uh, so I hope you enjoy it. So I thought I'd start out by explaining to you how I'm running my guitar rig. It's basically an A-B system. Um, uh, to my right, it's basically a Lone Star head is the master um, tone, and it's being slaved into a stiletto head, so it's a, a stereo effects uh, setup. Um, and on my left, it's the stiletto that is the main brain head, with the, uh, the Lone Star being the, the slave head. Okay. So two separate stereo rigs split uh, with a G-Force uh, TC Electronics delay unit. And uh, as far as the signal chain goes, um, my Ibanez AT300 runs straight into uh, Peterson Strobo Stomp Tuner, which uh, I tune between every song. And it's, it's a nice pedal because it's a true bypass, so it's not sucking any tone um, out of your signal. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of tuner pedals do kind of suck the tone out, or if you use a volume pedal and a tuner out, that can cause a lot of uh, sonic problems as well. So the Peterson's a great, great uh, true bypass. Uh, tuner. Uh, from there into a full tone wah pedal. Uh, very nice. Also true bypass, which uh, is kind of a thing for me these days as I'm trying to improve my tone in every way I can. Uh, it's nice to, m most wah pedals will take quite a bit of your top end off. And so uh, that retains that's a great pedal. Uh, from there, um, a new pedal that I've been using lately for uh, to boost the front end of some of my amps is the Exotic Effects BB preamp. Really nice warm uh, gain box that I can use on the clean or distorted channel. It sounds really nice. And then uh, from there, going into the uh, radial loop bone, um, it's, a, it's a unit that allows you to bring pedals um, in and out of the front of your amp. Um, again, like the, some of the older pedals, like the, the, the wonderful TS-808 Tube Screamer and the old Octavia, um, aren't true bypass, so um, even when they're off, they're actually affecting your signal. So I like the loop bone actually lets you take those out of the front of the amp and maintain the sonic integrity of your guitar tone. And then you can hit a loop and bring them in as you uh, as you need. And then from there, just straight right into a uh, the, the front end of a GCX ground uh, control unit, which is the master controller of this whole system. Whereas I can hit a button, and it can switch channels on my amplifier. It can change MIDI programs on my TC, and it can also further bring other pedals that I have back uh, on top of the amplifiers, bring those in and out of the effects chain. Um, for example, on the clean channel on the Lone Star, I like to use a Carl Martin compressor to hit the front end pretty hard for a little extra, a little extra gain, a little extra sponge. And uh, on the stiletto side of things, uh, on the clean channel, I'll use uh, an old Tube Works tube driver um, as a distortion, as the full distortion unit uh, on the clean channel. So with a hit of a button here, I can do all that to go to either rig, change channels. So it's, uh, it's very handy in a complex setup like this to have it all programmed. So that's basically it. Um, as you probably noticed behind me, it's uh, instead of four 12s, it's a collection of two 12 cabinets. And uh, over time, I started realizing that I was I was really enjoying in the studio the sound of the two 12 cabinets over the four 12s, and particularly the uh, the Mesa Boogie rectifier cabinet, which uh, I've been using now for over over 10 years. Um, even as I've used other amplifiers in the studio, you know, vintage and new, I, I tended to find that uh, I love the sound of the of the Mesa cabinet over any other cabinet um, that I could uh, that I could even try. And, uh, and this particular rig, is, it's all 16-ohm uh, wired uh, you know, 212 Mesa cabinets. And so I can't use anything else. My ears are so, uh, so tuned to this particular cabinet. Um, this is a great focus low end. Uh, the top isn't too brittle. Um, so just re it really it works well live, but especially in the studio, too. Just really get the tone that I'm looking for out of these cabinets.
All right, I thought I'd give you some examples now of how I'm using the maces, uh, channel to channel, from amp to amp, and uh, let you hear the tone of the amplifier and actually how I'm using the, the pedals in conjunction. Um, starting with the Lone Star side, you'll hear, uh, the, I'm going to start with the clean channel, and uh, in general, when I use the clean channel, I've got a bit of a compressor in front of it, just to hit it and give it a little bit of extra uh, sponge and gain. And uh, you'll also hear a TC Electronics uh, G-Force chorus and echo in the, in the loop, okay? So... Mm -hmm. 